Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is you find a pink geranium in your flower bed of red geraniums. Seeds from self-fertilization of this plant produce one quarter red plants, one half pink plants and one quarter white plants. When considering the visible phenotype, which explanation is most likely? And here is uh, four different explanations. Explanation A. The soil in which pink plant was growing was deficient in critical nutrient. And this can be uh, one of the explanation if we would uh, consider uh, plant physiology. But uh, we are talking about plant genetics. So this can be explanation but not in our case today. So uh, we should consider answer B, C and D. And answer B. The pink plant had a new mutation creating an allele to which the wild type red is incompletely dominant. Answer C. The pink plant had a new mutation creating an allele which is incompletely dominant to red. And answer D. The pink plant had a new mutation creating an allele which is codominant to red. Let's consider the last answer. And this answer suggests codomination. And here is the example of the codomination. Imagine that we have one plant uh, whose genotype is capital A, capital A, and different plant whose genotype is capital A prime and capital A prime. So when we cross these two parents, the progeny genotype would be as follows. So capital A a prime here, A, A prime here, A, A prime here, and A, A prime here. And why I don't use, uh, for example, uh, capital A and small a, instead of I'm using capital A and uh, A prime, because these uh, alleles are codominant, and this um, Genotype on top would produce uh, red flowers, so this plant would produce red flowers, and genotype on the side would produce plants with white flowers. And all their progeny, because they are going to be codominant, uh, the flowers would look like follows. So we are going to have 100% of the progeny that is going to be F1 generation that would have flowers with patches of white color, pure white color and patches of pure red color. So we don't have a mixture of colors here. So we would have patches of the completely red color and white color. So both of these alleles we would call dominant and 100% uh, as you see of the progeny would have uh, this pattern of the uh, color of the flowers. Those the parents would have plain red or plain white color of the flowers. So this is an example of the codominance. And now uh, let's consider answer B and C. And uh, here we have a suggestion of uh, incomplete dominance. So what is the incomplete dominance? And here is a, another example. So imagine that we have one plant with genotype that is capital A, capital A, and another plant with genotype that is small a, small a. Once again, we build a Punnett square and genotypes of the progeny would be as follows. So capital A, all progeny would inherit from one parent and small a that is recessive would inherit from the second parent. So uh, dominant allele A would code for the production of the enzymes that would make red pigment 
and small a allele would code for the enzyme. Uh, probably that is going to be defective. So this is going to be the same enzyme uh, as this one, but uh, would be non-active. So uh, red pigment wouldn't be produced. So in incomplete dominance, the uh, phenotype of the progeny in such a cross would be different from both of the parents. So this is not going to be dominant phenotype as this parent. And uh, phenotype of the progeny going to be intermediate between red and white. So if this parent produce red flowers and parent on the side produce white flowers, all the progeny in F1 generation going to have intermediate between red and white phenotype. So going to be pink. Why? Because um, dominant allele A is incompletely dominant over the recessive allele A. Imagine that genotype of the F1 generation would be as follows. So here we have two chromosomes. One chromosome inherited uh, from this parent and one uh, dominant allele. So this is going to be normal allele here. And another allele would be uh, from parent here on the side. And this allele would be defective. So wouldn't produce red pigment. And of course, as you see, uh, quantity of the red pigment or enzymes that produce uh, or participate uh, in production of the red pigment would be reduced by half. And in some plants, that means that uh, color would be not as intensive if uh, a plant would have two normally functioning uh, alleles that both would make normal enzyme. So that explains why uh, heterozygous plants would be uh, pink, intermediate between these two parents. And of course, when we have both alleles defective, as uh, in parent here on the side, red pigment wouldn't be produced and uh, the color of the flowers of such a plant would be white. So now let's return to our example. We are told that uh, when we take seeds from the self-fertilization of the plants uh, with pink flowers, they would produce these ratios of uh, different colors. So as you see, we have here F1 generation that is pink. And now if we um, self-pollinate these plants, that means that both parents would be of the genotype capital A and small a, one parent, and the second parent also would be the same genotype, capital A, small a, and when we build a Punnett square, we can find following ratios. So here we would have capital A, capital A genotype, capital A and capital A would go in these cells, and small a, small a would go from this parent and this parent here. And in this cell we would have small a, small a genotype. So in F2 generation we expect uh, the ratios of the colors to be uh, one quarter red. So one quarter plants with red flowers, one half to be intermediate or plants with pink flowers and one quarter would have um, flowers that would be white. So exact ratios as you see as in our problem. So when we have two parents that produce pink flowers and when we cross them here is going to be ratios of the F2 generation. So now we can choose the correct answer. So, so we know that this is not the answer D. 
that describes codominance. We have here uh, incomplete dominance. This is not the answer A, which uh, suggests that uh, uh, some plants can be deficient in some nutrients that uh, the soil is missing. And we have to choose between answer B and C. Answer B suggests the pink plant had a new mutation, creating an allele to which the wild type red is incompletely dominant. And answer C, the pink plant had a new mutation, creating an allele which is incompletely dominant to red. So, in other words, we have to choose whether um, this allele would be incompletely dominant to this allele or this allele would be incompletely dominant to this allele. And as you remember my explanation, uh, recessive allele A would stand for the uh, gene, for the allele that would be mutated and uh, would produce um, inactive enzyme. So we have only one active uh, allele here that is dominant capital A allele and this would be incompletely dominant over recessive allele A. So as you see, uh, the answer C would be incorrect suggestion because it suggests that white color is dominant to red and this is not true. Dominant allele A that produce normal enzyme would be incompletely dominant to recessive allele that uh, code for the inactive enzyme. But because number of uh, normal enzymes would be reduced by half, we also may expect that uh, intensity of the red color would be reduced by half. So as you see, the correct answer is B. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.